Now, there are some things that you need to look at in understanding HIV. There's the virus and there's the human. But I prefer to call it the host. Because the family from which this particular virus that we are looking at comes from does also have other hosts. But we are looking at this particular virus which is going to affect us humans as a host. Hmm. All right. To understand what is happening with HIV, we need to look at a few things. Something about its epidemiology. Something about what's the natural history of an infection. How to evaluate. Which has both laboratory and the clinical. Then comes a huge thing called management. There are many segments in it. There's clinical management, there's social and family management, there's government management, and there is another part of the management which is very necessary because we are not just talking about the body. We are talking about the human as a soul. So there is a counseling management that is necessary. As part of all this, there is a need to develop networks and linkages. So you can see from this, it is no more a situation of patient came to your clinic, you took some data, you came to some conclusion, you gave some advice and tata bye bye, thank you very much. No. This story is going to keep coming back again and again to haunt you unless you are very clear that you are going to have a very wide broad perspective if not you are directly involving yourself but getting the patient and yourself connected to these. The reason is that the requirements of care for an HIV person are so vast that most of the time it's not possible or it's not appropriate for only one therapist or one caretaker to complete all the requirements. There will be a whole team required. So such a team usually requires a primary physician. This person is going to be is something like a general practitioner or a family physician. This person is going to be the link person for all the requirements. There will be a nurse or a, some sort of you know a practitioner of some type. There will be laboratories. There will be consultants. There will be social workers. They are all part of it. And one very important portion. There will be counsellors and definitely a nutritionist. This is the minimum. Now there will be some link agencies, for example, in the government who will also be part of the team. That is usually is going to come out of the social welfare department. They are going to be the link persons that you have to wind up with. So normally these two are the people who the patient will be mostly connecting with. The next will be social worker, counselor, consultant. The lab will be the resource where which all monitoring periodic follow-ups will have some sort of a standard set. 
so these are the main things for a good primary health and long term maintenance of health timely nutritional assessment nutritional planning and nutritional therapy will have to be included okay so now let's look at some important things who is affected there is a virus there is a host and there has to be some way that the two can meet so routes of transmission for this virus are now the next thing is who has been practicing less than 5 years less than 10 years okay so reason why i am asking this twofold you either have got to have a very big practice or you are really intensely involved with your practice before you find out that when you start caring for people you never caring for one person alone you always caring for a group that one person is connected with a group and the interactions of your patient with the group invariably come back to you as a clinical problem they invariably at some level or the other so if you have been practicing more than 5 years you probably would have got used to this idea so therefore you will have to know that when you are dealing with a child patients you will never deal with only that patient at some point in time you will be dealing with others also the next thing is that if you have been practicing more than 5 years you probably would have come to some sort of an idea that even though there is only one very clear cut presentation of a problem for the patient there are a whole lot of other things that add to the misery or add to the diagnostic dilemmas or add to the management dilemmas for that particular problem these are usually what we call constitutional considerations so you have got used to handling constitutional illness apart from a specific illness the third important thing is that if you've been practicing more than 5 years by now you would have developed your own professional network of so many other agencies which i listed in the team so you already have an idea of who all to connect with when you need some help in caring so these are usually the things that beginners in hiv care find a little difficult you know because they got the patient okay they identified that this is an hiv patient and then they're thinking like abhi kya kare bhai can i handle it can i manage it what should i do who should i contact when should i check up next all these sort of you know dilemmas start coming up so part of the ideas behind this presentation is to be able to include all of these i have been given to understand that some of you are very few of you are from bombay and most are from out of bombay is that right or all of you are from mumbai who is from out of mumbai where from coming from calcutta calcutta surat surat satara 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 is very important to me because my involvement at least in a at a community level came from the fact that out of about 230 doctors in satara district ha huh, not more than two had any training in hiv management before they started prescribing medicines for it people were doing all sorts of crazy things and there was this huge influx of you know patients with complicated management issues and the only answer for it was to train doctors so all of them were contacted connected with and trained over a one year period that they all were given intensive training in primary care and it is amazing how the epidemiological demographic for that area completely changed so a core issue obviously is good capacitation of professionals it's obviously something that has been learned okay anyway getting back to roots of transmission this is one virus which cannot live independently it does not tolerate bad weather and it is susceptible to most chemicals which will adversely affect any structure which is used for creating a cell wall any type of chemical it can be affected if it is met with outside human tissue so it's a fragile virus 